Hi there everybody, this is John from Marsh Creek Farmstead. Uh, finally getting around to making another video. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of my wood chip collection. Uh, past month or so I've lined up several companies that came and and dumped dumped a bunch of chips. And I've got some pruning here that was done on site and more prunings and more chips over there so we got tons of wood chips uh, I was gonna try to make some biochar to put in the garden beds um, we tried a little bit uh, with this top lit uh, down draft burner that I saw on YouTube um, it works kind of I don't know it's it wasn't as easy and straightforward um, this is some of the some of the char you can see that it didn't get totally totally burnt um, I mean it worked part way um, it's probably good enough So anyway, um, I had the idea after uh, listening to the TSP episode about biochar and looking at the um, looking at the kiln, the shippable uh, biochar kiln, that I could just cut a drum uh, and make a similar thing. So here I had a, uh, a steel drum. Uh, that was not in use and so I took a sawzall buzzed off the side of it and I'm gonna start the fire in there and shovel in some chips and burn for a bit and then put it out and see how it goes okay so I filled the the bottom with a bunch of chips that we're gonna light I shoveled a shovel of dirt here in the corner because there's a, a bung down there that will let air in if it gets melted. So may get melted anyway. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to get the torch and light it up. I don't know how many of you have ever tried to make a video before, but it really is a pain in the butt. You can't hardly see anything. You don't know where you're pointing the camera. I think I might have just smothered it. Yep, I put it out. Okay, let's let's try that again. We'll uh, let that burn for a bit. Try to throw some bigger sticks on to get it going. Okay, I had to shut the video off in order to get the thing going without it smothering out so now we got some paint burning off of our barrel uh, which is probably one of the negatives about using a barrel but hey it was free or paid for in the past and cheap so now that our fires going uh, I think most of the smoke is coming actually from the paint, not the wood itself. So we'll, uh, it's very hot. I'm having to back up and back up and back up because it's, it's really hot. So we'll start sprinkling in chips and come back later. Alright, uh, you can see here that the, uh, 
the drum's almost full. It's uh, taken quite a while to do this. Um, I don't know if it's worth it or not. As you can see, I could be here forever. And I don't know that I'm going to do that. I'm just going to probably make some, a couple small batches and add it in. Uh, I don't want to turn all this into uh, biochar. So, I'll let this burn a little bit and stir it a couple more times. And then uh, probably call it, call it quits and soak it down with water. We've got it out now. We're just uh, dousing it down with some water. It's actually floating, floating in water now. Still a little warm, but as you can see, we had a much better conversion with this method compared with the other. with the other uh, top-down lit method. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. I don't know. Anyway, it's all black. So, and uh, one good thing about using the, using the wood chips is that the pieces are already really small. So, I don't really have to crush them up. They're already, uh, uh, a manageable size. We did burn some bigger chunks, but I'm not too concerned about it.